Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is Sir The Kabayan Tech and today we are going to unbox and review the Cori Portable Monitor at Technician's Perspective. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, take some time and click that subscribe button. And if you like these videos or any other videos that I have, kindly click on the like button. Thank you very much. So I've been using an older portable monitor. It was an Asus brand. The problem with that Asus brand, it only has a one cable configuration. And if I go on to the BIOS mode or to the DOS, DOS mode, it doesn't support its viewing and you need to have a driver for that. The only time that I will be able to use the monitor is if the device, the Mac or the PC is booting up into its operating system. So I was looking for another solution and found this uh, Kurui. Uh, portable monitor on Amazon. Uh, this is, this was on sale for $99. I have a coupon from Amazon uh, Canada and I end up paying for this one close to $70 uh, including the tax. So the box itself comes with the portable monitor and also the cables that are, that you will need eventually. So I already opened it up and I've been using it for quite some time and I'm pretty happy with uh, this portable monitor. If you are looking for a review that has something to do with color matching, video color matching, this video would not be for you because for the price point of this monitor, I don't think that would be best. But it has a very good color matching comparing it to the actual screen. But as a technician, I only use this one for mobile repairs and booting up to Windows or to a Mac. But inside, it's well pack packaged. It has all the cables that you will need. So you have a mini HDMI to an HDMI, the straight up USB-C to USB-C, and also a USB-C to a USB-A for power uh, delivery. So usually for the connectivity itself, you could use this one straight up to your Mac, which is a USB-C, USB-C. And if you have a Windows or a Windows laptop or a Windows computer that supports USB-C to USB-C, a friend of mine uses the same monitor and he uses it on his laptop that has USB-C. He could just plug in one cable and you don't need any drivers for it. If it doesn't let you do that, if it doesn't power on, you could do a mini HDMI to HDMI port together with the USB-A to USB-C or the combination of this two, the USB-C to USB-C will become your power uh, delivery. You could also plug this one onto a portable battery pack, which I really love. So going to the monitor itself, it looks like an iPad Pro where it has a built-in case ready. And at the side, you might notice that there are three ports here, mini HDMI to USB-C for either power or direct connectivity. And then we have the power on and the volume up, volume down, and also use for your menus. We have the speaker grill here. And at the back portion, the case itself is adhered to the case, uh, to the portable monitor. And all you have to do is simply just open it up and you could just either uh, stand it this way, depending on uh, how you wanted it to be. There is a VESA mounting at the back. The only drawback that I don't like about this one is the sound isn't great. So don't expect anything that's really remarkable. There are two grills. There is no audio port for you to plug in a headphone jack. And it doesn't have Bluetooth. It doesn't have a power supply. So you have to have a power source or a power bank for you to power it up. Let me show you how it looks like connecting it into a computer. So connecting a USB-C to a USB-C, for example, this Mac going to this. So let's try plugging it in. It's a direct connection. You don't need to download any driver for it. You might notice that it will turn on power here. And I wanted to do an auto, an auto brightness for this one. I press the power button. I go on to brightness and then I go again to brightness and reach it up. You might notice once I get past to 50%, it will tell me to put in a power cable. I could use the cable that came with it with a USB-A to USB-C, or you could use a USB-C to a USB-C, plug the USB-C here to the other port, and then you could either use a portable power bank, or you could directly plug it to the wall. And let's go on to brightness. You might notice you won't have any more issues with showing that you need to have more power for it. If your Mac didn't show up onto this part, you might want using to have HDMI to the uh, mini HDMI. And in that case, if that is your configuration, so we could take out this, connect the HDMI at the side of your computer. I'm using an M1 MacBook Pro. And we plug this one to the mini HDMI port. It will not turn on, it will not deliver power, it will just deliver data on onto your monitor, even if you try trying to press it on. You need to have a power source with this one. 
it's the same feature when it comes to Windows laptops or desktop. Your laptop, Windows laptop or desktop supports the USB-C to USB-C. You could just have one cable and it will deliver power and also video at the same time. If not, you could use the, the mini HDMI to HDMI port. I do have another portable monitor, which is the Lenovo here. Only thing that I don't like about this one, it only has uh, one port configuration here. But again, as I mentioned, if you're going to go onto the BIOS part of your computer or desktop or to your laptop, there will be no display. It's because it needs to load a driver for it. So first instance, I have a desktop here in HP. I'm using a Lenovo, only has a one cable configuration. It doesn't have any po other ports for me to deliver power. So it's drawing power and video at the same time. So if I wanted to go to the BIOS mode of this desktop, and even if I press the escape key, it won't let me go onto the BIOS mode. So the only time that I will be able to use this screen is if it's actually on Windows mode. So when I do my repairs, I usually access the DOS mode or the BIOS mode of the computer. So for this device, since it's a multiple cable configuration, I could go to BIOS without any issues. So let me just turn it on and then I'm going to press escape for the, for the hotkey and it will display me all the configuration that I need. And this only happens when you have a mini HDMI connected and a power source for this one. So I end up not using my Lenovo anymore and I use this one instead. This can also connect to a phone if you wanted to as long as there is another power source. We're going to use two cables here. One is the USB-C cable to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-A for power and you will see it turns on. Then I'm going to plug this one on an iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's see if it will show up and it does. So overall, I'm giving this one a 4 out of 5 for its usability and purpose. Uh, the only thing that kind of draws back is it doesn't have a audio port for me to use like a, 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 a headphones. It does have a speaker but it's not really that great of a sound. And that's it mga kabayan techers. If you have any comments or suggestions or tech that you want me to review, kindly write them down below. And if you like this video, kindly click on the thumbs up. And if you're not yet a subscriber, kindly click on the subscribe button. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.